Minnie Moo, did you give Mama another heifer? Did you give Mama another beautiful heifer? Hello. Hi, beautiful girl. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Buffalo. You're gonna just lick my hand and then look at me? What do you think? <laughs> you come here? Oh, big yawn. Does that make you tired? Being out here to big kids. Hi, Buffalo. You dirty face. You got a dirty face. You do. Hi, Buffalo. Hi, cute boy. <laughs> Why you got your tongue sticking out? Hmm? Why you got your tongue all sticking out? Couple of midnight snacks going on in here. It's actually, well, there's a quarter to one. I woke up. Yeah, I get up, I check the cameras, and I look at the thermometer, the weather station. Yesterday, these girls had that trough right there by the head gate kicked out. Because it hadn't been hooked up for water, it would just been filling it if they needed it. It's like, well, I don't want to take it out of there and lose the little nesting spot it's got. It's not supposed to get below 35, 38 degrees for the next week. Yeah, we're 32 now. That means we're going to be about 20 or maybe 27 by morning. That happens to be on the only PVC line in here. See it on the edge of the pole. Yeah, there you can see it. There's actually two on the edge of that pole because we'd need it at that point and jump up and go down to where that calf is if we need one there anyway it's also the only line in the barn that we've had to replace because it burst when it wasn't cold enough because it's right against the roof line all the way up over by where the hydrant is yeah you can kind of see the trough there hydrant's at the post under there so yeah i just got that drained before we have an issue with that and now I'm making my round. A little zoomy. I don't know if they're being active because I come in and woke them up or just because they want to be. I probably didn't wake them up. I had one over here earlier that was kind of driving me crazy in the camera. She was laying where she is, pretty much. And I look, and there's a tail out. I'm like, what are you doing? And then she's turned around and sniffing where she was laying. I'm like, I don't see nothing. You ain't got a calf here sniffing at. I don't see nothing. That was a cut tail. I couldn't see that. So I didn't worry too much about it. And since then, Tylen has come down before she went to bed and checked I didn't hear anything so we're going to say there's nothing and I don't see anything so we're going to say there's nothing so I'm going to see if I can get back to bed before that magical hour jump ahead don't ask me about that bullshit I'll tell you anyway probably been 30 years ago I had some lady in a grocery store Bad mouth and farmers because she hated the time change. She informed me that it was all because of those GDF and farmers so that they could get their crops done. I turned around and I looked at this lady, one of them bigger gals with a loud mouth, you know, always right. And I said, ma'am, it's all I've done my whole life is farm. I hate the time change. I don't know any farmer that likes it. I said, my cows wake up to the sun and go to bed with the sun. So do I. 
I said, you're slightly mistaken. It's so your husband can come home after work and mow your lawn in the light. Since you won't get off your arse and do it yourself during the daylight before he gets home. You want to talk about seeing some big loudmouth woman stand there stammering for words? I wish I had a picture to show you. I really do. But anyway, I'm going to go to bed. Time change doesn't matter which way we go. Screws me up because well, I can't use the phone. That kind of thing because places I want to call, they're not going to answer. If I need parts, I'm, you know, goofing off and twiddling my thumbs. And if I follow by my watch... lighter now than it will be when I get up so anyway Rainy and I are going to go to bed they kind of wondered about me Minimoo here and yeah in case you can tell it's raining like a sun bitch now warmed up to 34 degrees so it could rain she's just chasing her placenta but that calf right there doesn't have a tag on it and every calf that's on the board has a tag on it now look at that she chased it so good, she finished cleaning, I hope. So, she needs to go over there. I should rattle Ty's cage, tell her to get off her ass and get her calf in a maternity pen, but, you know. And, yeah, it's breakfast over here. Oh, it's not near it loud over here. I can hear myself think. Uh, I've been wondering when she was going to do it. Now we know. We don't know what she's got yet. We really don't care. What I do know is she kept that calf in the corner. It's cleaned up. It's dry. It's alive. You know, I hate guessing on just looks. It's hard to see the little bugger in the dark. But especially when you zoom in and it pixelates. Without seeing the plumbing and, and the other externals there, i I'd say it might be a heifer, but like I said, I don't like doing that. Dad used to come out here and look at him from here. Like, looking at it, oh, oh yeah, that cow had a bull calf. Hey, you come in here and you're trying to find this bull calf that this cow had. All you can find is a heifer calf. Or, you know, he'd go, oh yeah, go, go grab that heifer calf over there. That's the one that goes with that cow. You got four heifer calves, two bull calves, all of them calved overnight. And you're pointing to a bull calf with a tag on it. Then I know if it's got a tag on it and it's out in general population, it's a minimum three days old, more like four or five days old or older. Oh, uh, good enough story time for now. see what she had so the whole world will know. Another heifer. I got what I wanted. I told you it looked like a heifer cow. But like I said, don't always quote me on that. Yeah, finally get her in here. Look at the fun. There, you see the end of the hose. See the end of where it was. Kind of a long-winded nipple. And yep, yep, yep. That's our ash can. I need to go scavenge some ashes out of Grandma's stove. There's another bucket. Ah, it's on the back of the truck. That's supposed to be the regular grease sweep. It's empty. So I had to go to the ashes, which is what we used to use. Anyway, and I'm not so sure my clamp sealed. I have not taken the lid off to look. I'm not going to. But the fun part is, you can't get a ranch in there. And I don't have crow's feet that big. So Becky is currently ordering a set off of Scamazon. Eight inch and an H for the square part. And the nut is inch and five sixteenths. I got inch and a quarter. I got inch and a half. Do you think I got inch and five sixteenths? Hell no. So it's supposed to be... 
you said it'd be here tomorrow. Off brand, but it's got good reviews. Looked at the brand that I wouldn't mind having, but the price she came up with was, of course, you know, you, you get the different little boxes underneath for the different sizes. Well, the price was for this one, and we needed this one. You know, instead of being $53, down to 200 bucks. And this other brand is like $57. And it might cost us a couple bucks in shipping to get it here tomorrow, but that's okay. Because I want this thing out of here. And, yeah, maybe they'll give me a chance to actually find a whole new hose instead of splicing that one. I did do a little adjusting because that hose is one that wore through it. And that's you now comes from up there. It's an oil drain hose is what it is. Drains back into the block behind the dipstick give her a little rotate up so it won't lay against there anymore but that's all you can do with this thing for now so Becky is using it to dry the rugs out of the house and Tylen's talking about laying some plastic on here and doing some work on some stuff she was going to work on so gives her a nice work area a little rough but nice dug out that little feeder yesterday and Got her hooked up. Throw some diatomaceous earth in here for these little buggers. Hopefully they figure it out and they don't spill it. You're going to do what? Oh, she's going to sneak buffalo in here, she says. I'm going to sneak out anyway. Poor kid. I mean buffalo. Watch Ty touch the freaking hot water. Come here, Buffalo. What's that stuff in the corner? Go, go check it out. Yeah. He ain't too worried about it. He wants to play instead. He says, no, you made me hurt myself. Leave me alone. And then her knee popped. That's why she's rubbing it. What she needs to do is sneak back out of there and the calves spend enough time in here, they'll find it. As long as they don't flip it over, because where you're supposed to put a chain on the bottom so it doesn't get flipped over, well, that's been torn out for a long time. we got another one too, but it's in about the same, uh, same awesome condition. So. If you know, you know. Two pair are done. There's what Ty was working on. I'm kind of thinking she might be washing a truck bed. It's not supposed to be white. Those are apparently for Brooke's baby shower. But these are for me. And for the life of me, I don't know. I mean, I've worn Carhartts for quite a few years. Becky's best friend's youngest boy was lost a bunch of weight and he didn't fit him anymore so I ended up with his old ones and I got to where I like them with the double leg these are a little different material these are a stretcherier one for I guess those old parts but for the life of me I don't know why the hell Carhartt does not put suspender buttons on any of their pants none that we could find but they happen to sell the buttons that I like. I mean, I ain't fond of the plastic to them, but these have held up better than, was it the Sawbuck is the other big brand? And the Sawbucks, I usually break the damn pins off. When Brother Ed was here, I made a tool for installing the pins. On this pair, these pairs, where this stuff is so pliable, I pinch that sucker on every time. So, and they haven't been too bad pushed in by hand, so I pushed them in by hand. The next step is set one of these there, set that over it, and hit her with a hammer a couple of times. It's actually about three or four times to get them seated good. So, that's what I am doing. The loose ones there, which are just enough to finish the front of this pair of pants or the rest of two bags. 
I'm not sure if I need any out of the fourth bag or not, but I was smart this time. On the front, they're about an inch deep side of this. That one looks like it's off a little bit. Hmm. Oh, I know why, because I put this one so it was straight above here. They don't always get the belt loops in the same place. Two and a quarter to two and a half inches. And on the backs, where I haven't done anything yet, four and a half inch centered. I swear my suspenders seem to like it. So that's the way I do it. So, anyway. Only other thing I got to do today when I get done with this is let the cows in the feed barn. And as soon as I'm done, it's going to be time for that. I wonder who's going to be first tonight. What do you think, 241? Huh? Yeah, I just wonder who's actually going to be first. You knew where the gate was going to go. You could have stepped around a little sooner there, sweetheart. I figured I'd better let him in while it wasn't dumping. It's been dumping for the last hour or two. Seventeenth cast the first calf in. But 511C and her mommy, they're going to come in just about together, aren't they? Look at that. And there's Dancer and her baby. The little chrome thing. Chrome's got some loosey poopy. Maybe mommy's in heat. They'll do that. Look like scours. And it is, really. They can get a hell of a gut ache from it. All well, because Mama's in heat. Her backside is not covered in it, so I ain't going to worry too much about it. What do you think, girl? Huh? Your cap's already... No, that was 617. No, that was yours. Yeah, your cap's already in there. Your calf beat you in. You're slow. And there's you. Huh. Yeah, I thought you were going to have a calf like a week or so ago. Or two weeks ago by now, probably. And you ain't done nothing yet. What the heck? There's one really skinny one in here. Right there. 024H. She is supposed to be due in April. Bad enough, this skinny one, but. I don't know why she's so skinny unless everything that already happened is just too much. Hopefully she's still got a calf in her. Same with this one. She's too skinny. And they're both O numbers. Yeah, we got other O numbers like the one right behind her. It looks pretty good. And the one that came in between those two, or came ahead of those two, that looks pretty good. So, I don't know. Some of them just end up skinny and they stay that way their whole life. And yeah, more hair missing. How much of that's actually from the lice and how much is it actually from them rubbing so much. And yeah, gotta have one licking the shit off the floor. I don't know. What you think there, baby? Huh? What you think? Yeah, you think you're going to go the other way? Okay, you be that way. You be that way. Yeah, still a few in there laying down. They'll get up. Eventually. So, anyway. Now you got the whole day. You got, like, probably a 20-minute video, anyway. One of them Canadian length ones. I know, I've gotten way too good at that lately. What you think, Boom? Huh? Yeah, two tallest cows on the place, anyway. And a short three-year-old. <laughs> yeah, she'll be three next month. March, baby. Then, of course, there's a two-year-old, who uh, I'd love to get back into the swing of things like we used to be. We always calve the two-year-olds out first. And then have... You know, ideally they were all calved out and then about a two week break before the cows, but yeah. The only way I know to make it happen again is if we do a bunch of AI in, which we should do, 
Not like we don't have a tank full of semen to use sometime. At least we know it's still all viable because it's been taken care of rather than when we lost like sixty, eighty thousand dollars worth of semen because the guy that was servicing the tank uh, didn't. He didn't service our vet's embryo tanks either. You better than he did ours. It cost him about a half a million dollars. So, another story. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you had a great Sunday. Everybody has a good week.